Get ready to discover the underground strategies for making real money and creating a life of passion and reward in real estate. It's hardcore. It's no BS. It's Agent on Fire. I'm Casey and my daddy is a rock star. Welcome to Agent on Fire. I'm Mike Costigan, the Agent on Fire, and I'm glad you tuned in here today because today I'm going to get you on your path to getting rich by getting listings in real estate because you do want to be rich, right? You don't want to be some pathetic loser, a street performer collecting pennies in his guitar case, right? You want to really make something of yourself. I think everybody, when we get into real estate, we really have these dreams of building a real business, right? We didn't get into this to live paycheck to paycheck. We see these real estate agents driving their Mercedes, their hot shit cars on the weekends, right? And what you don't know is most of these people are completely fucking broke because they're doing all the same idiotic shit that everybody else does. They don't know how to get listings. Uh, listen, n nobody lists more homes than I do. I don't know anybody who can list a single family home as quick as I can or as many as me. Routinely 50, 75, 80 houses a month, uh, 107 in one month. So I know how to do it. And I put together, good news for you, a cheat sheet of the seven things you need to know Seven secrets to listing houses in 30 minutes or less and charging more freaking money. So I'm going to tell you how to get that in just a minute. And you need to do that because really I only deal with, I only want to help people who are in this to win this shit, right? I don't want a pathetic loser. Don't download my stuff if you're not going to use it, right? You got to be committed. If you tune in, watch any of my stuff, read any of my stuff, honestly, I want you to implement. None of this is going to do you any good. So look, I was, I was watching. So let's talk about profits, right? Let's talk about where the hell your profits are, right? I just told you how broke the average real estate agent is. And I doubt it's any real secret to you. Real estate agents, for the most part, they don't make shit. I mean, most are below the poverty level. A couple houses a year. Is that you? Are you working 80 hours a week, 60, 50? I don't know, to make a deal here and there, right? Are you just supplementing the household income? That sucks. It's not worth it. Uh, chances are, I know why, it's chasing buyers, right? It's chasing buyers around or not putting, and it'll be a combination of both, not putting enough effort into getting listings, like real listing inventory, consistent listing inventory. So you don't ride the roller coaster, right? It's deal, 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 deal. One sells, replaced with another. It smooths life out. Look, I was watching The Profit the other day. Great show, highly recommend it. Lots of lessons to be learned from this guy. Marcus Lemonis, fucking brilliant guy. He comes in, he reorganizes business, helps people out. He invests in the business, becomes a partner. He takes over the show. So I'm going to take over the show here now if you're going to continue to watch. Our deal is I call the shots here when you're here with me, right? If you continue to watch or listen to any of my stuff, that's how it is. So Marcus was helping these two brothers had a drum company, right? Badass drums, some of the nicest drums ever, like drums, drums, right? Musical instruments. These guys had no process whatsoever. They had no organization and, and it resulted in limited production capacity and hell, their, their lack of efficiency, it led to a hell of a shitty relationship between the brothers. They weren't even talking. I mean, there was some real anger and hate. These two brothers who came up with something genius, maybe you're brilliant, right? but they weren't doing things right. So look, it, it totally reminds me of the infancy days of my real estate business. One guy doing a thousand freaking things all the time, right? It was crazy. Routinely, I worked till 11, 12 o'clock at night, got up at six, seven in the morning, did it all over again. My wife, I mean, God bless her for sticking with me through it, right? I'm telling you, she'd see a damn Remax sign and we'd be driving down the road and, and I was with Remax. She would want to just steer into the freaking yard. I almost had to grab the steering wheel to keep her from fucking running shit out. She hated it. And she worked with me, but she knew I didn't know what I was doing. Right. I did good by all standards. I mean, I was making a nice five figure income, almost a hundred thousand dollars a year, working 80 hours a week, sucked, break it down by hours. It really sucked. So look, I wanted to be a better husband. I wanted to have more time. I wanted to make more commissions. Look, I just desperately wanted to get some damn sleep. I, shit, I would have settled for that alone. She could bitch in my ear all night. If I was snoring, <laughs> great. I didn't even feel good. It was miserable. So why was super agent not to do any of this? Like, what, what was I missing? I didn't have leverage. I didn't have automation. So look, what you have got to understand right now, if you're going to make it in this business, right? Even if you're making it, 
there's a huge difference in running a business and running a practice. Practice sucks. You want to be in a practice, go be a doctor, right? Go be an accountant, a chiropractor, whatever. It requires your every minute participation for it to run, for it to make any damn money whatsoever. Sorry, but that sucks. It sounds fun now. It's not going to be fun five or six years from now. It sucks. A business runs on its own with leverage through people and through systems, and you don't have to be there for it to make money. It makes money while you're sitting at the beach sipping margaritas. That's what mine does. And that's what yours needs to do. Or you will burn out. Everybody burns out. I've seen it. I've trained almost 30,000 agents now, right? And just in recent years. And I have seen it a million times. You don't create systems. You don't create leverage. You burn out of this shit. It sucks. And guess what? You don't have to make a shit ton of money in order to do this. There are so many little like VAs out there that will do the menial tasks, right? For pennies, right? There are software systems that, I mean, we're in the age of this automation. There's cheap software and apps that will automate stuff and do most of this crap for you. There's systems we can use even to, even to, I don't know, interact with clients, right? It's so cheap and it's so damn easy. You just got to make the decision to actually go out there and freaking do it. If you don't, be a loser, right? You want to continue being Dr. Doolittle? That's fine. You want to become a CEO? This is how you do it. And you know what? Before you get started, let me tell you where you can get the PDF. Go to agentonfire.com. Go now and download the seven ways to list homes in 30 minutes or less even in an unlistable market, and charge more money. So it's agentonfire.com. You need the www, I guess. I'm not sure. It's there. You can't miss it. Download it right now. Thanks for tuning in. I'll come up with something great to talk to you about next time. I could talk for days about this stuff. So see you on the next episode. This is the podcastfactory.com.